He says, verse 14 says, for if, and do not look at the reconstruction of the word if in this verse. It does not, it does not consist of sense. It means in the event that, or on the condition that, you forgive others for their transgressions, yes. their wrongs, their offenses, right. they have done to you. If you forgive them, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Yeah. He's teaching them the principles of forgiveness. Amen. Whether you're in a job, wherever, okay. he says, forgive them. But really, he's teaching the church. Because yes, he's talking to the disciples. Amen. He's talking to the disciples. And he's talking to really his little 12 member church. Mm -hmm. He instructs them because they ask how to pray. He instructs them how to pray. Then, they, then he instructs them on forgiveness. If you forgive others of their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you of your transgressions. Amen. Mm. And then on 15, he flips the script over. Mm -hmm. He says, if you do that, this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. But if, uh, in the event that, or condition that you do not forgive, this is where forgive means pardon. Amen. Pardon. Yes, pardon others. Then your head father would not pardon you. Yeah. Mm. He won't pardon you. Mm -hmm. Watch this. We must forgive as we hope to be forgiven. Yeah. If we want to be forgiven, we have to forgive. Yeah. 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 And therefore, must not only bear no malice, mm -hmm. no revenge. Mm -hmm. Because I heard God say, revenge is mine, say the Lord. But we must not rebuke, listen to this, or criticize. All right. nah, nah, nah. But we must be we must be ready to help him and do him good. Amen. We must be ready to help him and do him good. It does not say do wrong. Mm -hmm. It says help him and do good. Amen. Those who have mercy with God, watch this, must show mercy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those who have compassion with God must show compassion. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, girl. To their brother. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness in this latter sense is what God, watch this, in this latter sense in verse 15, this is what God says in the latter sense, mm -hmm. God will threaten to withhold from Christians who refuse to forgive others. Mm -hmm. He will refuse Forgiveness mm -hmm. if Christians refuse to forgive one another. All right. Amen. 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 Yes. Next one, Mark chapter 11, verse 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Watch what it says. Whenever you stand praying, mm -hmm. whenever you stand praying, Amen. Forgive, forgive if you have anything mm -hmm. against another.
Am I right about it? Amen. Jesus says, the believer ongoing duty is to have a forgiving attitude. Successful prayer requires forgiveness or the requirement for answered prayer is a forgiving spirit as well as faith. You can have faith, but if you have forgiving spirit, you not Prayer is not going anywhere. Hello, somebody. It's not going anywhere. Right. Right. Have all the faith to move mountains. Right. And all that, but if you do not forgive, your prayer will not be answered. Right. Watch this. It is a forgiving spirit as well as a faith. But if we nourish, Nourish or nature, nurture a harsh, vindictive attitude toward others, we cannot expect God to hear us All right. All right. or answer us. Literally, right. said, if we have an unforgiving spirit and a wrong spirit, God will not and don't expect God to answer your prayer. Watch this. 
I like I said, I'm almost done. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, those before Ephesians were Jesus talking and Jesus teaching. And you got to read that about all that's in red. And that's Jesus going to talk. But now, Paul is here to talk. In Ephesians 4 and 32, he said this. He said, be kind to one another. I got this in that is key then, be kind. But the new American says to be tender hearted. Yes. Forgiving each other. Mm -hmm. Just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me back up to the eighth portion of verse 32. He says, I'm going to go King James. Wow. He says, be kind. Mm -hmm. He does not say be nasty. All right. He does not say he does not say harsh. All right. He says be kind. Mm -hmm. Elder, let me use one of your words. I know that I use a good argument. Thank you for letting me use your copyrights. Mm -hmm. He said you catch more bees with honey than you can with vinegar. All right. All right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 That's the truth. That's the truth. So true. If I don't catch the bees, I'm gonna get too much. That's it. That's it. If I want to catch somebody, I got to be tender hearted yeah. and be kind to them. Yeah. I can always spread vinegar. I can't spread vinegar at all, to be honest with you. All right. Watch this. Those who have been forgiven so much by God should, of all people, of all people, forgive. The relatively small offenses against them by others. All right, mm. all right. Mm. He wrote in Ross. Colossians 3 and 13. Paul saw it again. Any longer. And why in the world do we keep bringing stuff up? Mm -hmm. All 
Hear me. Come on. Close my Bible. Go. I'm done. Should I say this? The Lord said so. If the Bible says he remembers our sins no more, and once one of them says they throw to see forgiveness, so we'll be remembered no more. All right. Why do we say we forgive and then we keep bringing it up? If you and I keep bringing it up, we have not forgiven. All right. You don't bring up what you forgive. Hello, somebody. God is saying right here in the Bible, in what Hebrews 8 and 12, why he said, I don't know it no more. I don't bring it up anymore. It's gone. It's forgotten. And God is teaching us today, let's stop remembering and forgive. Yes. Oh, I'm going first. Okay, I'm going to say this is what I am. You may not even have First Peter uh -huh. four and seventeen. Uh -huh. Yeah, I need to get this one. I need y'all to see this. I need two to take away from Pray. You don't understand. It doesn't matter. You can do anything. It doesn't matter. This is what it says. I ain't making this up. This ain't my words. He said, For it is time for judgment to begin. I mean, the new man said, Begin with the household of God. Amen. And if it begins with us first, wait a minute. The judgment will be with the church first. Amen. Every believer is going to begin with us. Every believer. Amen. And it's why it behooves us to be and do everything we're supposed to do yeah. as, uh, as it lies up with God and God's word. Amen. Not us, but his word. Mm -hmm. And again, he says, judgment will begin in the house of God. Amen. I mean, the key thing said that. Begin in the house of God. And he says, begins with us, the church, Amen. the believers. And he says, what will be the outcome of those who, it, who do not obey? I mean, the new man said, who do not obey the gospel. Mm -hmm. What will happen to those who don't obey God's word? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. If it's going to begin with the believers, the church, and if those who don't obey, obey the word of God, and those who are sinners and don't obey the word of God, where are they going to be? That's a warning Amen. to the church. Not the building, the people Amen. who are inside the building. Amen. Yes. God wants the church to get dressed up yes. and be who the church is supposed to be. Yes. We're half dressed. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. We're half Christian yes. mm -hmm. All right. I don't have to make dance. I already hear it. The church is spiritually half dressed. Yeah. So God is trying to the church to get back to where it's supposed to be. All right. And to be fully dressed up. Uh -huh. And not be partially dressed. No. When you're fully dressed, you won't dress what you want to be dressed with. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But when you dress with God, you won't dress how God wants to dress. Even though you, your flesh don't want to be dressed like that. Spiritually. God said, I'm on my way back. I'm trying to come back for my bride. And I need my bride to be dressed up. Yeah. Yeah. I need my bride to be fully spiritually dressed up. Yeah. That I may bless and get my bride when I go. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to get my bride to be adorned mm -hmm. like she's supposed to be adorned. Amen. Oh. Amen. 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 The word unforgiveness. Is poison. Mm -hmm. Unforgiveness mm -hmm. is poison. Amen. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is my close. Restored, we need to have restored Christian fellowship. Yeah. Yeah. Restore Christian fellowship. Mm -hmm. He's done, and I am too. The Lord bless you. Amen. Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Amen. I have some names here. I'm going to pray this. I'm going to pray. 
let me go back to something to say. And I said, she said.
took and moved by your mighty hand and your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, I pray God, you bless the Thomasina. Touch and bless her, strengthen her, God. Oh, God, shake and mold her, God, to be the woman you call for these last and new days. Bless her mighty and bless her abundantly. Oh, I give it a heart and an eagerness for more of you, God, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. God, I pray that you'll bless God, uh, Sister Brenda Rose. Mm -hmm. Touch Sister Rose and body mm -hmm. with your mighty hand of mm healing -hmm. from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Mm -hmm. I speak yes. and declare mm -hmm. healing and health yes. be upon her body. Bring back, restore. Yes. You are the whole world right there. Yes. You are the restorer of health. Yes. Restore yes. of health. Yes. God gives Sister Betty one, yes. Sister Cynthia one, yes. the wisdom, yes. the knowledge, and how to care yes. for Sister Brenda Rose. Yes. Give them the strength, yes. the energy. Yes, yes, to help yes, care for yes, Sister Brenda Rose. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Touch the set your warm body. Yes, Touch yes. about your mighty hand of healing yes. from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Mm -hmm. God, I pray, God, you bless uh, Sister Thelma Taylor. Mm -hmm. Touch her body yes. with your mighty hand of healing oh, yes. from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, God. Give her strength. Yes. Give her energy, God. Mm -hmm. We speak, God, and declare restoration of her health, God, yes. as well in the name of Jesus. Yes. And God, I pray you bless all of the sick of the church. Yes. Name by name and one by one, I pray Jehovah Rapha, yes. the restorer of their health. Yes. Name by name and one by one, I pray restoration of health. Upon the life of our sick, name by name, and one by one. Do it, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Bless your people. Yes. In a mighty and an abundant way. Open doors. Mm -hmm. Provide. For you are Jehovah Jireh. Yes. Yes. You are the reviver. Mm -hmm. You are the way maker. And you will supply all of our needs according to the riches in glory. Thank you, God, in advance for what you're going to do. And even what you're doing right now for me, your people, we thank you. Bless us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray and we thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Is that prayer? Keep yeah. one another in prayer. Yeah. Keep each other lifted up in prayer. Yeah. Because we're going through some challenging times. Yeah. Some tough times. Some experiences we've never experienced before in our lives. Yeah. And it's going to get a little tougher. Amen. But it's better. Yeah. But I heard the Lord say, hold on. Amen. And heal your boots on the fancy train. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you this way. Well, it's time to go. Mm -hmm. Let's go close in prayer. Most gracious and all our Father, as we leave your house, and go our various ways, giving every vehicle, yes. bind every mechanical problem. Mm -hmm. Dispatch your hands around us and our travel. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh God, we pray, child. Mm -hmm. We pray this week come in that you will bless your people this week come in. Mm -hmm. Bless them mightily and bless them abundantly. Yes. Never than him is able. To keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of the only wise God our Savior. Be glory, bless, and dominion power, both now and forever. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Good bless you.